accent. We are from the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. We have the second movement, I tell him, in, um, in, in the US and Germany. Uh -huh. It's called, uh, for example, man's movement. So I have seen this video recommended to me and this was something that I was planning to make a video about as well but didn't really want to put myself through another radioactive cringe material. Like I knew the cringe would be difficult but I clicked on it nonetheless and it was somehow worse than I imagined. I didn't know how deep this rabbit hole goes. The NoFap community might be more autistic than those who do PUA. Truly eye-opening pinnacle of science. All NoFap benefits that girls notice. <laughs> The usual thirst trapping thumbnail. She loves this. <laughs> and of course, it is a blonde hot girl with blue eyes, specifically targeting all those people on NoFap who are mostly sub six, low SMB, oofy doofies. And the uploader knows this as well. Their cult leaders are actually smart. They know, they know that if you can get those sub six men, those oofy doofy men to do NoFap, you can basically get them to watch anything you put out just by showing them hot girls. With their balls about to explode, they won't be thinking straight. They won't be thinking about anything else other than women. They are gonna fall for anything, you know. But let's watch the video. Let's see all those scientific and 100% legit benefits that girls notice. Probably just starting your journey or have relapsed a few times and are wondering what lies ahead when you eventually cross 30, 60 and 90 days. Relapse. <laughs> They are wording it like it is some dude shooting up drugs. Bro, this is literally something your body was programmed to do. Natural and human. It is healthy. Oh, you relapsed. You didn't go without ejaculating for months on end. What are these guys even worried about, man? Like, this is beyond autistic. When you condition yourself like that, of course you are gonna fail. Of course you are gonna relapse. I'm going to cover all the benefits that you can expect women to notice on your nofap journey. Starting off with the first one, your eyes. Your eyes are the window to your soul. The glow in your eyes is one of the first benefits that many men report. After abstaining from X-rated content and getting better sleep, your eyes will begin to glow from improved sleep, reduced late night screen time, and better nutrient absorption in your body. What the fuck am I watching, bro? This is the second time I am watching this and I am still mind blown. What kind of retarded logic and reasoning process is this? Guys, is this parody? Is this also gonna be like, oh Rehab, that uh, channel you showed is a parody channel. Is this a parody channel as well? Clowning those uh, nofap guys. Dude, this shit right here is why I fell for that clip. Clowning Sigma males. Because at this point, guys, like, <laughs> with the amount of retarded shit that is being said unironically on the internet, I seriously cannot tell if these brilliant minds are being sarcastic or not. Abstaining from X-rated content and better sleep, he says. Bro, how do you jump to the conclusion that NoFap leads to better sleep? Where is the proof? In scientific receipts. Where are they? If anything, from my experience, it is the other way around. It makes going to sleep harder when you are horny. Then he says reduced nighttime screen exposure. I love how he equates reduced to late night screen time to porn. Cause people can't possibly be on their phones or computers for anything other than porn, right? What kind of shitty inductive reasoning is this, bro? What the fuck am I even watching? Then another 200 IQ claim that he doesn't even need any scientific receipts for, of course. <laughs> no fab makes your body absorb nutrition better. Oh wow, you solve the bigger picture, bro. Oh, girls are gonna notice your eyes. Bro, when you stare at women like a leering cretin, of course they are gonna notice. You look at me like that and I will notice. What they notice is not what you think it is. You look at me like that, uh, I will be scared. I would be like, buddy, you stay the hell away from me. Don't even come one step closer. I don't swing that way. Stay back. Stay the fuck back. When you stop releasing your seed, your body retains the nutrients it produces, sending them back through your body to support other parts and nourish it to attract potential mates. That's why your eyes begin to appear whiter and healthier than ever. You develop that hunter's look. Plastic surgeons hate them. You see that, guys? You want to get rid of the sicklerial show? Get a positive cantal tilt? And grow your super orbital rim? Just stop fapping, man. <laughs> 200 IQ. No way this is serious. Guys, am I falling for a parody community? These guys don't actually exist. They are just plain, right? There is no way this guy is saying these without bursting into laughter. I refuse to believe that. 
or rehab bro that guy was just making fun of sigma males it is a parody clip bro how can you blame me for falling for it when we see stuff like this that is being said unironically this is the stuff we are seeing on the internet a deep and strong gaze that women love I actually love the picture he uses. The dude literally googled cantoplasty before and after pictures, then used the picture off of that. Oh wow, you are gonna put plastic surgeons out of business, bro. They gotta watch out. Plastic surgeons, cantoplasty surgeons hate them. Let's move on to the second benefit that women notice. Your energy. Now this might seem a bit esoteric, but facts are facts. Your energy changes when you're on nofap. You start to radiate a more positive aura, seeing both yourself and women in a respectful, positive light. Esoteric. Here we go again. Ah yes, it is so esoteric, bro. Cause we wouldn't know what you meant by that. By energy. Only a very small elite group of people could know, could understand what you meant by that. Guys, esoteric has become one of those words that cringe maxim people use to sound smarter than they are. Esoteric was one of the words that you didn't hear people use too much. Now they use it to sound smart. He heard esoteric somewhere and now loves to use it everywhere, even if it is out of context. He's like, fuck it, just throw it there. It is gonna make me sound smart. And not to mention that energy stuff he mentions is pure bro science. Placebo effect. There is some testosterone increase in the first three days, but after that it is right back to the normal levels. A dude who's having sex with his girlfriend two times a week won't necessarily have lower life energy than some ADIQ sub-6 oofy doofy who is walking around with his balls about to explode. Maybe if, if he's referring to guys who masturbate 10 times a day. If you do it 10 times a day, of course, your energy level is gonna be low. But the solution to that is not to go all the way to the other side of the spectrum. That is retarded, bro. You start to exude more confidence around them, feeling their gaze as they sense your newfound energy. When you are a blue bald, leering cretin, of course they are gonna sense that energy. Brother, like, what they might be sensing is not what you think it is. Imagine some ugly 5-6 dude who's not fapping for months and months, only so that he can be horny when he's talking to a woman at work. Bro, trust me, that is the last thing, last thing females want. When you are a blue bolt leering cretin, of course they are gonna sense that so-called energy. You might even get yourself fired following this advice. You are much more likely to do something inappropriate. Cause once again, when your balls are about to explode, you are not thinking straight. There is sex on your mind 24-7. Oh, woman can sense. Two weeks later. Guys, I got fired from my job and have no idea why. Be glad you didn't get arrested, brother. Be glad you didn't get arrested. The third benefit is no more brain fog. Your mind clears up. You become sharper and more focused. This is the opposite of what happens when all you can think about is a woman because your balls are about to explode. What are you talking about, bro? At this point, I'd like to mention that we're offering a special guide to those on the nofap journey. Of course, I mean, expect it at this point. So this is their shtick. Putting young men on a path they can never beat because it is your biological nature that you are trying to beat. To get them have blue balls that are about to explode at any minute. Then tell them completely fabricated pseudoscience benefits. Condition them to feel pressure to stay that way. And then sell them a course, promising them to make this process bearable. Bro, this gotta be even more autistic than PUAs. I am not even joking, dude. Like, this is more retarded. Because when you do PUA, there is at least some chance that you will end up doing something actually beneficial for yourself. With this shit, all you are doing is torturing yourself for literally nothing. Literally no real benefit. Everything they say is pseudoscience. Or placebo effect at best. Only a minor increase in testosterone. And it is only within four days. After that, it goes back to the normal levels. Maybe do only three to four days of nofap. If you really want to reap the so-called benefits of this, then scientifically you should do it twice a week. But going on fucking 100 days, 200 days of nofap gives you literally no real benefit. All placebo effect. Interactions. This shift in energy and presence is something that people, women included, tend to pick up on. They'll notice that you're more focused, engaged, and just overall more pleasant to be around. It is the other way around, actually. At least for me, personally. I always feel like after a couple days, I am much more agitated, easily frustrated, on the edge, you know. 
After getting it out of the way, things become clearer. Focusing on what is important becomes much easier. There is even a name for it, uh, post not clarity. So I am not the only one feeling this way. But yes, if you are masturbating 10 times, 15 times a day, <laughs> of course. And some of you say that. Some of the stuff you guys say blow my mind, bro. Or rehab, what do you mean, bro? I do it 10 times a day or more. 10 times or more. <laughs> bro, at that point, what you do has turned into a ritual of worship. You invented a religion at that point. Even Muslims worship five times a day. You are doing it 10 times, 15 times a day. Like if you are beating your meat fucking 15 times a day, of course you are going to have no energy. Of course you are going to have brain fog. When you spend your entire day worshiping your deck, you are not going to have time for anything else. Okay, I think I understand their issue. I see what they are about. Their issue is beating their meat 10 times a day. Sitting at home, masturbating all day long. Most like the Zoomers. But like the answer, the solution is not applying the same autism in the opposite way, in the opposite direction and go months, months on end with blue balls. This is a complete waste of time. Like people are dedicating so much willpower and time on useless, the most useless stuff. All the benefits are pseudoscience. If you take it too far and go for no fapping for three fucking months. You are only setting yourself up for going back to that place. And, as a bonus, the positive change in your mental clarity and presence can make your interactions with women more enjoyable and engaging. I will also say this. Never make a decision when your balls are full. Now, if you have a partner, obviously that is preferable. But jack off if you have to, bro. Always have a clear mind before you make an important decision in life. You are not yourself when you are horny. Oh, rehab, are you on nofap yet? Absolutely not. Why would I be? You are out of your mind. You are out of your damn mind asking me that question, bro. I ain't like you, though. You are worshipping your dick at that point. Jacking off 10 times a day. Yours has become worship. I only do it every now and then to go about my day without getting distracted. Big difference. Healthier skin and why women might notice and appreciate this change. I've just looked online, but couldn't find any scientific proof for this either. Bro, these are just bro science, not backed by actual science. The only thing I could find was within four days, only for three, four days, it does have an impact on tea. But after that, it goes straight back to the same old levels. And there are even some negative sides to NoFap. I actually found more negatives than positives. What they are feeling after day 4 is pure placebo effect. Mental, nothing more. Lastly, let's talk about the benefit of strong eye contact that can be associated with a nofap journey. Okay, now I am sure what kind of people these guys are. They can't hold eye contact in real life. I was suspecting this, but now I am sure. This is sad, this is only sad from the lens of guys who masturbate 10 times, 15 times a day. Oh, it makes sense. If you are touching yourself 20 times a day, yeah, sure. But then again, I think nofap is not the way, is not the answer. Because trying to do the impossible to deny your human urges is only going to put you right back on that excessive path when you inevitably fail. And you will fail. I don't understand some people, man. Like, why? Now, why is strong eye contact something that women notice and love? Well, it's all about communication and connection. When you make strong and confident eye contact, you convey several important messages to the person you're interacting with like confidence, trust, presence, and connection. Just be careful you don't end up on a sex offenders list doing that confidence stuff. When you can make strong and meaningful eye contact, it can make you appear more attractive, confident, and charismatic. It helps create a deeper connection and can lead to more engaging and memorable conversations. This stuff is why people get reported to HR. They do this and do retarded, inappropriate stuff at work, and they get reported. You can be sexually hungry and that turns you into a lethal, capable man. Don't try and deny it now. Your future girl is about to go and meet a guy that she's currently texting. You know why? Because you play video games. And then you have people like Hamza, of course. I just checked his channel and he's still making the same nofap videos. Because of course, when you put those doofy doofy weavers on an impossible path, uh, they are going to keep coming back to you for more self-help. People like Hamza really want, not even want, really need, need youngsters to be on nofap. 
for months on end because they know they know that their oof with oof viewers ain't getting any action so if they do no fab there is no way no way for them to release that energy and consequently it will be much easier for people like Hamza to bait those no fab idiots with hot girls in their thumbnails if you put a half naked blonde chick in your thumbnails those cringe maxing no fab idiots are much more likely to click on your videos Dude, when your balls are about to explode, of course, of course you are gonna resort to anything. You are gonna fall for any scam that offers you some relief, some coping mechanism. Because getting women is gonna be the only thing on your mind. Your productivity is actually gonna go down. And since they condition themselves, they are gonna fail inevitably. They are gonna feel defeated and repeat the cycle once again. So of course, Hamza wants you to be on NoFap and think about sex 24-7 all day every day. That is how he's gonna get you to watch his videos. By the way, Hamza is the same guy who was claiming that NoFap is gonna increase your T levels by 400%. Yes, you heard right, 400%. I mean, I played this clip before, but I will play it again because it is the direct topic of this video. We need to discuss the single biggest reported testosterone increase out of every study so far. There is one practice that has been shown to 400% your testosterone. That means if you have a 500 nanograms of testosterone, this practice has been reported to increase it up to 2000. That is a steroid level increase. I'm surprised that this hasn't like taken over the internet with this study. And what is it? It's semen retention. So the problem with this particular study that a lot of people don't seem to realize I mean, there's a lot of different things you could say about it when you really analyze things in more detail, but probably the main issue is that the study doesn't actually exist. This semen retention study found a 40% increase, not 400, and even then it was temporary and fell back to baseline fairly quickly. Then there is the NoFap community on the internet, or rather cult, not really a community. They have their own website, they have a subreddit, they call themselves Fabstronauts. Over a million members. Bro, this is peak autism. What does that even mean? Like, why do they call themselves Fabstronauts? Is the joke supposed to be that they have a space suit so they can't fab? Or uh, they went to space with all the self-improvement they have done through no fab? I don't know. Dude, like, I thought I was familiar with their game. With the cringe max communities online. This cult puts everything I have seen so far to shame. The entire sub is a cringe fest, bro. How do you even come up with this stuff? When you base your entire life on devising an intricate plan on how you are not gonna touch your dick till your balls explode, this is what happens. Beyond brutal, bro. Look at this. I work at a gym and today I could not stop thinking about and looking at all the girl ass. <laughs> Today I was obsessed with it and the shape and the size just got me into a trance, honestly. <laughs> No way, bro. Slip up prevention urgent. These guys are fucking retarded, man. They are a threat to public safety. Of course you are gonna go into a trance when you force no fap on yourself. You don't have a girlfriend to let off steam. You know, someone to release that energy on. Just don't release that on us. <laughs> you are walking around with blue balls 24-7. Of course females can sense that. You look at a dog like that, you will creep out a poor puppy. Even a dog will sense it when you look at her like that. Brother, what they sense is not what you think. When you are a leering cretin, it shouldn't surprise you that people notice. Oh great news guys, I am getting noticed at work. Two weeks later, I got fired. How could this happen? Like, I wouldn't feel safe if I was left alone with those guys in a room. Pressure cookers explode when you overheat them. So these guys come to a point where they are willing to give it to anyone. Not even anyone, anything. I wouldn't feel safe. But like, don't even think about it. Creeping up on me. 680 days. Notice the number next to his username. What a great accomplishment, bro. Put that on your resume. All the while you are a leering cretin. You look at a wall and there is sex on your mind. All that cringe max and shit. And for what? Peep this. Some tips on avoiding triggers. <laughs> 1. Don't watch movies or cartoons. Even Spongebob can get some people triggered. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? These cringe maxers are gonna look at a brick wall. Brick wall. And think about sex. 2. Don't watch anime. It is hypersexualized. 
3. Don't browse YouTube for too long. Eventually, you will run into a trigger. 4. Disable Reddit feed. Will prevent random top posts of random subreddits from appearing at the main page. 5. Uninstall TikTok and Instagram. Both are infested with prostitutes. Which I agree on. They indeed are infested with prostitutes. 6. For the most time, isolate yourself from the internet by either reading a book, going outside, praying or playing video games that do not contain nudity or references to sex. 7. Don't go to the beach, for obvious reasons. I mean, I agree with some of the points here, especially with the TikTok and Instagram. Their algorithm indeed pushes hypersexualized content. But like, when your balls are about to explode, even a brick wall is gonna be a trigger. Oh, Spongebob triggered me. I looked at Spongebob and was tempted. Of course, when you are like that, you are ready to pipe down even Spongebob. You are gonna work with any, any possible hole you see. A brick wall, Spongebob, you know, a banana peel, anything and everything. You are going to look at a banana peel and there will be some intrusive thoughts in your mind. It shouldn't surprise you. Boys, I did it. Wow, I can't believe I have made it this far. Day 9 the SR after two other streaks of 30 and 6 to 7. This is a testament to how far we will go together, guys. If I can do it, you can too. What a great accomplishment to punish your body for absolutely no real benefit. Congratulations. Don't forget to put that on your resume. <laughs> These guys are punishing and torturing themselves for no real benefit. All placebo effect. Men are not supposed to be living like that, bro. And it is only exacerbating the problem, actually. It is accomplishing the opposite when you are thinking about sex all day, every day. I mean, this gotta be the most autistic shit I have seen on the internet. And I have seen plenty. But I will talk to you in the next one.